Oh my God, something's sticking its head out. <gasps> Nothing makes you go aw quite like a baby animal. Every time you see a tiny newborn animal, you can't help but grin. You just want to squeeze them tight and never let them go. But of course, you shouldn't do that. Try to control yourself as we count down 15 adorably cute tiny baby animals you can actually own as pets. Hey, hey, it's okay. Welcome back to Forever Green. Before we dive in, quick pop quiz. A panda's diet is 99% bamboo. How many pounds of food do you think they consume on an average in a single day? Is it 25 to 35 pounds or 200 to 250 pounds? Put your guesses in the comments below and we'll revisit the question later in the video. So stick around. All right, let's dive in. Number 15, Otter. The otter is undeniably one of the cutest creatures you can imagine. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you have ever seen one having a snooze while going down the river, opening up lunch on their bellies, or playing in the water with their friends, you'll know what we're talking about. And don't even get us started on baby otter pups. They are so delightful. You could see why people might want to have an otter as a pet. Baby otters can be called pups or kittens, and they stay with their mothers until they're up to a year old, or until she has another litter. If you're planning on keeping one as a pet, you need to remember that the water you keep them in does not only need to be the right temperature, but it needs to be free of disease-promoting bacteria. If the water is not sufficiently well cleaned, it can lead to the quick death of the otter. The food they eat will also need to be considered with a proper diet and at least 350 grams of food per day. Number 14, Koala. Like all marsupial babies, baby koalas are called joeys. A koala joey is the size of a jelly bean. It has no hair, no ears, and it's born blind. They crawl into their mother's pouch right after birth and stay there for up to six months. That's about how long it takes for them to see, grow ears and hair, and waddle about on their own. When they're about six months old, joeys venture out into the world. Hey, hey, it's okay. Although they stay pretty close to their mother, usually by rotting on her back. How adorable is that? Any issues? Number 13, Pygmy Marmoset. Very smart. We uh, feed him a zoo cream. Newborn Pygmy Marmosets are usually five to six inches in length and weigh 100 grams. Although these primates are not in danger of extinction, they are rare to find in the market for purchase. They usually cost between one and four thousand dollars, and they make for adorable pets. They are found high in the rainforest canopy of South America, dodging behind tree trunks and branches and dashing around like a squirrel. It also has brown fur and a long tail like a squirrel, but it's definitely not of the same family. The pygmy marmoset is the world's smallest monkey. But there is nothing tiny about a pygmy marmoset's tail. It's longer than its body. The tail is not prehensile, but it helps the little monkey keep its balance as it gallops through the treetops. If you're going to keep them as pets, you have to keep an eye on them because they are often prey for cats, harpy eagles, hawks, and snakes. That is why they dash from one safe spot to the next. They have flexible necks and they can turn their head all the way back to spot predators. Imagine seeing that happen. They are deliberate about their movements to avoid drawing the predator's attention. Still, when they need to move, pygmy marmosets are fast, leaping several feet to avoid the predators that would like to make them their lunch. Before we move on, Here's a quick challenge for you. If you can leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and turn on the notifications in less than five seconds, you will have 10 years of amazing luck. Hurry up and try it. It actually works. Number 12, snakes. We hardly blame you if you're scared of fully grown snakes. In fact, we wouldn't even blame you if you were afraid of the tiny ones, but we might judge you if you said they weren't cute because look how cute. 
Some people mistakenly think that baby snakes are more venomous either because they can't control how much they inject or because it's more concentrated. Both are false. Of course, you don't want to give them a reason to bite you, baby or not, but they have less venom to inject. Baby snakes will usually eat what their parents eat. So if you've got one that likes baby rats or mice, the baby snake might start out on smaller portions of that. A desert snake might want more lizards and little insects. Just don't try to feed them something that isn't of their natural habitat. Snakes are very picky eaters and you definitely don't want to get bitten because you got the order wrong. Oh my god, something sticking its head out. <gasps> Number 11. Teacup Puppies Teacup, as the name implies, refers to smaller than average dog breeds. Teacups are basically very small versions of popular breeds of small dogs. On top of being small, these dogs also considerably weigh very little. They're adorably tiny, but they're also tough to manage. You can't simply let a teacup puppy wander around your house, especially if you have young kids around or a larger pet. Teacup puppies require vigilant attention, especially until they reach their adult size of a whopping 4 pounds. While this might make you worry and not want a teacup puppy, keep in mind the obvious perks of owning one. Since teacup puppies are so tiny, they get used to being handled by humans quickly and will instantly grow to love you. As puppies, they are just as energetic and curious as any other breed of puppy and will make you laugh entirely too much the first time they discover their own reflection in a mirror. Just make sure when that happens, you record it and upload it for the rest of us to see. Number 10. Pygmy Seahorse Fully grown, they are the size of a grain of rice, so you can imagine just how tiny a pygmy seahorse baby might be. They are small enough to fit two or three on the nail of your pinky finger. This here is the Japan Pig, one of seven known species of pygmy seahorses. These things are both tiny and experts in camouflage. It is very difficult to spot them amongst the seagrasses and colorful corals they inhabit. They have a fleshy head and body, a short snout, and long tail. They're pretty easy to overlook because their colors make them look like bits of floating seaweed. Besides being smaller than regular seahorses, Pygmies also have only one gill slit on their upper back, instead of two below each side of the head, like larger seahorses. Their diet consists of plankton, such as copepods, and other small crustaceans, and they are generally quite active and playful, but other than that, not much is known about the species. Number 9. Hermit Crab Wait, is that a spider? No, this little guy is an adorable baby hermit crab. These delicate looking things spend their entire lives in the protection of their shell. And guess what? The shells aren't actually their own. Hermit crab babies go through several stages in their early life. When they are laid in the ocean, they are called zoea. In this stage of life, they look like larvae and sometimes are eaten by fish. In about a month, hermit crab babies move into the second phase of their life, called glassothow where they develop their legs and other parts. At this point, they're ready to venture out into the big bad world and find themselves a shell. In the final stage, they are known as a juvenile crab, and they stay on the coast where they continue to grow. If you're going to keep a hermit crab as a pet in your home, you'll need to keep a close eye on the little guy, provide larger shells for him to grow into, and take good care of him so he can decorate your aquarium for a long time. Number 8. Sugar Glider Sugar gliders are among some of the more popular exotic pets. Sugar gliders are tree-dwelling marsupials from Australia, New Guinea, and Indonesia. They adapt well to humans and develop strong bonds with their owners, but this takes time and patience. How close your pet bonds with you will depend on the time you spend together. A minimum of two hours a day works great, but more time is always better you'll find that they're playful little things who love to cuddle. All things considered, yes, a sugar glider could be a good pet for you, but they are not as low maintenance as hamsters. 
A sugar glider requires almost as much care as a cat would. Not only will you need to feed your glider, but you will also probably spend good money creating a suitable habitat for them. They are social creatures and need companionship because they are used to living in large colonies. If cared for properly, sugar gliders can live from 12 to 20 years. Number 7. Hazel Dormouse Its big, beautiful eyes take up half its face. Aww. This tiny, cute rodent is bright gold on the back and pale creamy on the underside. This dormouse differs from mice with its characteristic long, fluffy tail. They are native to Northern Europe and Asia Minor, and it's a nocturnal creature that spends most of its waking hours among the branches of trees, looking for food. They would rather make long detours than come down to the ground and expose themselves to danger. Hazel dormice are granivores, meaning they primarily enjoy seeds and grain. But they also like fruits, nuts, eggs of birds, and insects. Number 6. Chipmunk Their chubby cheeks, large glossy eyes, stripes, and bushy tails have made them a favorite among animators in Hollywood. Baby chipmunks are delicate, and you're going to need a lot of patience if you want them as a pet. In fact, caring for a baby chipmunk requires much more than simply feeding it, and actually requires you to act like a mommy chipmunk. You need to keep the animal warm and calm, help it poop, and monitor its stool to ensure that you are not overfeeding it. The best thing to feed a baby chipmunk is a puppy milk replacer. It will be new food to the chipmunk. It's a good idea to gradually introduce it as the animal learns to tolerate and digest the new food source. Number 5. Fennec Fox A baby fennec fox is called a kit. They're adorable and by no means cheap. Expect to spend around 1500 to 3500 US dollars on average for a young fennec fox from a good breeder. They are wild animals but also considered good pets since they are social animals. As the world's small species of fox, an adult fennec fox is only about 9 to 16 inches long and about 3 to 4 pounds in weight. Since they are suited to the desert climate, their large ears are to help them cool in that environment. They also use their ears to help them find prey as they hunt at night. The ears measure 6 inches, and it looks like something they got on loan from a far bigger relative. They also have long, thick hair that insulates them during cold nights and protects them from the hot sun during the day. Even the fox's feet are hairy, which helps them act like snowshoes and protects them from scorching sand. The fox's feet are also effective shovels for frequent digging since they live in underground dens. One thing's for sure, if you have them as a pet, you won't have a dull moment in your day. Number 4. Red Panda If someone was to mention a panda, you'd probably think of the traditional black and white panda bear that munches on bamboo in jungles. Well, think again. Baby red pandas directly contrast to that image with their cat-like habits, raccoon-like appearance, and their reddish-brown fur. But they are technically still considered pandas. The markings and color of a red panda serve as a natural camouflage that aids it in blending into the mossy trees that they reside in. This helps the young cubs with learning to hide as they grow up in the wild. The red panda's long bushy tail serves as a blanket to shield them from the cold when wrapped around its body. The fur provides excellent thermal insulation to this Himalayan native and extends to the soles on its tiny paws. If you thought giant pandas are perfect for cuddles, wait till you see a baby red panda. Baby red pandas are called cubs and a single litter has around four cubs. These babies are tiny and will wind up being about the size of a full-grown house cat once they reach adulthood. A little red panda weighs only about 4 ounces at birth and really depends on the mother for care as they are both blind and deaf when born. Three weeks after being born, their eyes will open and they will see the entire world out in front of them. While they're not domesticated and therefore are probably not suitable as pets, some people keep them as pets anyway especially in Nepal and India, and upload their adorable hijinks to the internet for the world to see. 
it is now time to check out today's subscriber pick. Remember, if you ever come across some bizarre or fascinating image, you can send it to us and we'll investigate. This looks like a baby chameleon. Let's see if they're really as tiny as they look in this picture. Number 3. Chameleon Many baby animals on the planet are capable of getting that aww reaction the instant you set your eyes on them. But being a baby chameleon for the first time is something else entirely. With their bulging eyes closed and tiny little tails, it just sounds like cuteness overload. The price of a baby chameleon depends on their subspecies. Many species can be purchased for $30 to $100, but more rare species cost you around 400 bucks. Taking care of baby chameleons is not easy at all, but you can get the hang of it soon enough. Baby chameleons need to get all the required nutrients to grow and develop properly. They are insectivores, which means their diet includes lots of insects. You could toss in a few live crickets into their cage and let them enjoy the excitement of hunting them, just like they would in the wild. A treat for you and for them, but maybe not so much for the cricket. You should also pay attention to the temperature in the cage, or you will have trouble getting chameleon to eat. Throughout the day, the basking spot temperature should vary from 90 to 95 degrees Fahrenheit. As for the nighttime, the temperatures in the mid-70s range should be just fine. Number 2. Chinchillas If you're looking for something as exotic as a fennec fox or a sugar glider but with less maintenance, you could go for a chinchilla. They need a diet of chinchilla pellets and hay, with vegetables on the side as a treat. Chinchillas also like a dust bath instead of a water bath. Make sure you give them as large a space as possible with multiple tiers since these guys love to climb. With a lifespan of around 12 to 15 years, chinchillas tend to live much longer than guinea pigs and other rodents. Alright, at the beginning of the video we asked you, how many pounds of food a panda eats in a day? The correct answer is, 25 to 30 pounds. Pandas can't turn much of their food into nutrients, so they spend all day eating to get enough food to survive. They can eat up to 100 pounds in a day sometimes, especially in springtime. Did you guess correctly? Let us know in the comments below. And now, number one, hamster. Hamster babies, called pups, grow pretty quickly. They are born in a litter size of four to six, and when they are just a week old, you can see their little teeth emerge from their gums, and their hair become visible. It's a delightful and adorable sight to behold. The babies start drinking water at 13 days, and start eating food at 16 or 21 days. The pups all huddle with each other, move around together, and play fight. As tempting as it might be to play with the hamster babies when they are born, you'll have to hold off for a week or two. Just change the water, as usual, drop a few kitchen towels quietly into the cage, and leave the mother and her babies alone. Definitely don't touch the babies, because that leaves your scent on them, which might confuse the mother. And that's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and check out more videos on nature and animals on the Four Evergreen channel. We'll be back soon with another video. But until then, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.